Right, so what I'm doing here today is scale drawing. So you come across this particular topic even when you do geography. So a direct proportion, a reduction, you make it smaller, okay, or less in size. So I'm going to use things like a map and real life or model and real life when I do my question. So I start right from the first one. It says on the plan of a house, the living room is 3.4 meters long. That's the length. And 2.6 meters wide, that's the width. And the scale is 1 centimeter is to 2 meters. So the map, 1 centimeter represents 2 meters. And you see I'm writing the units on top here. Then I write down the unknowns, 3.4 uh, meters or centimeters rather, 3.4 centimeters under centimeter, and I'm looking for this value of x here. So it's direct proportion, so you can do cross multiplication. As one increases, so does the other one. As one decreases, so does the other one. Bottom line is you should get 6,8. That's the length of the room. The width, you use the same scale, no problem. You just then put the 2.6 centimeter under there, and then you cross multiply, you should still get to the same answer uh, 5.2 meters whatever method you are using let's look at area so when we are dealing with an area so we have a map has a scale of 1 is to 10,000 so the area of a farm unit uh, is 6 centimeters square on the map so what is the real area of the farm when we are supposed to give it in hectares? So what you need to remember is that you have got your scale given to you as 1 is to 10,000. So the units are the same there, okay? And the scale is length. So 1 centimeter is equal to 10,000 centimeters in real life according to that scale. So what I like to do is I like to change my question to what I'm I'm supposed to find my answer in. My answer will deal with meter square. So it makes sense if I change 10,000 centimeters to meters, which is 100 meters. It's still the same thing. It's just now one centimeter represents 100 meters on the map, which is exactly the same as one centimeter is 10,000 centimeters. The reason I did that is because I'm supposed to square my scale in order for me to find the area. So I'm going to say 1 times 1 square is 1. 100 times 100 is 10,000. Now my square is in 1 square meter. 1 square centimeter is equivalent to 10,000 square meters in real life. So I put then my 6 square centimeter under the centimeter square and I find my unknown by again do your cross multiplication, you get 60,000 square meters. Right, since one hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters, then 60,000 square meters divided by 10,000, you get an answer of six hectares, and that is the correct answer. There are many other ways you can do that, uh, this question, but to me, this is doing me um, wonders that I don't have to deal with 10,000 centimeter times 10,000 centimeter, and then I have to go and divide by a horrible long number there. But as long as you get to six hectares, that should do. All right, so let me bring in a third question here. So you're supposed to express 68 to 1,007 in simplest form, done, dusted, you just use a calculator, put 68 over 1,700, write the answer as a ratio. Okay, then a school has a classroom block 17 meters long, and the model of this block is 68 centimeters. Now, here's the thing. These questions look similar, but please, I have, as I said, I'm using a different way to do it. All right, so I'm changing 68 centimeters to meters because this is going to be in square meters here. So I'm going to take my scale and I'm going to square it. So now I know the model is 0.68 meters and the real thing is 17 meters. So I'm going to take this scale and I'm going to square that scale. So 0.68 squared and 17 squared. So my scale for area now, okay, this is my scale for area, is 0.68 squared is 0.4624 and 17 squared is 289. So now I'm writing down what I have. I have the area of the base of the model. I put it under the model and I want to find x. So from here, cross multiply, direct proportion, you should get to 150 square meters, okay? You can pause the video and then you can have a look at it step by step. If you did a longer way, as long as you get to this answer, that is all that matters. 
Right, so we have got another question here. A map has a scale of 1 is to 50,000, so that means 1 centimeter, because the centimeter the question is dealing with is equal to 50,000 centimeters in real life. And since they are dealing with my question here, they want the answer in kilometers. So what I like to do is I like to change 50,000 centimeters to kilometers, and I have done it on the side. All right, so my new scale is going to be centimeters to kilometers as opposed to centimeters to centimeter. It makes better sense for me to work like this. But again, you can use the 1 is to 50,000 50, and then go later on and divide your answer by 100,000. So then I put my 10 centimeter under because that is on the map, it comes on the map, and I do cross multiplication, I get my answer already in kilometers, which is 5 kilometers in this case. Question 5, a very similar question, same scale, then use, because of the same scale, I have done this particular question, so I'm just going to bring down the information. 2.4 centimeter comes under the map, because it's on the map, and real life, I just then sort of cross multiply, and I get 1.2 kilometers. This question is a B part, all right? So the B part says, calculate the area in hectares of a lake whose area on the map is 20 millimeter square careful here so what i did is because my scale 57000 centimeter i changed it to to meters i know that 1 centimeter is 100 meter and 50000 centimeters is 500 meters the reason why I, I do that is because i'm supposed to give my answer in hectares and you know that 1 hectare is equal to 10000 square meters so it makes more sense for me to have a, a map that uh, or a scale that is uh, centimeter to meter. So what is 50,000 centimeters in terms of meter? Okay, and now my scale reads 1 centimeter is equal to 500 meters. And I'm squaring this because I'm dealing with area. So you square, 1 times 1 square gives you 1. And then obviously 100 times or 10 times 10 gives you, or the 500 times 500 gives you um, 250,000. Right. So what I did also here, I changed my one centimeter before I multiplied it out. I changed it to um, millimeter. So one square centimeter. I know that one square centimeter, one times one, one square centimeter, that is 100 square millimeter because I'm given a 20 here. So there's no point in having a square centimeter here. Okay. So I changed my scale to millimeter square to meters square so pause and have a look at that and now i simply insert my 20 because it's millimeter under millimeter now and that is map and that is area cross multiply i get 50,000 square meters but then i'm supposed to find my answer in hectares and i know i must divide this then by 10,000 in order to find my answer as 5 hectares right so this brings me to question 6 Question 6, scale of a model of a building is 1 is to 50, 1 centimeter is equal to 50 centimeters. So this is a one straightforward question, which you can keep. Um, I didn't change the scale here, so I didn't change 50 centimeters to meters, but you can go ahead and do that anyway. Or you can go and divide later on by 100. This answer should be straightforward, 9 meters. Right, so the B part says uh, the scale of a model of a second building is 1 is to n. The area of the base of this model is a square centimeters. The area of the base of the second building is a square centimeter. So, so I've got my centimeter centimeter here. So I've got map 1 is to n, but I'm dealing with area, so I square that. So when I square that, I have 1 is to n square. That's 1 times 1 is 1, n times n is n square. So now I'm simply going to put my values. The area of the base of the second building is the base of the model. So model under model, I will put a and then small letter a and capital letter a under real life, the second building. Okay, and then write down everything is in terms of a cross multiply a equals to a times small a times n square. Make n the subject of the formula and you should get nothing but n equals to square root of a over n.